Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with another Atlantic League game. Um, if you, a uh, quick summary, if you don't <coughs> recall, recall <coughs> oh boy. Um, the Atlantic League is a base 1994 league where I added, um, where I added uh, franchise players to the different franchises. So I added franchise White Sox from different seasons to the 94 White Sox. I added franchise Tigers to the Detroit Tigers of 1994, etc. So let's take a look at where the standings are right now. Um, so you can see we are in third place. We're nine and a half back. We're 46 and 49. We're under 500. Not doing very well. And let's take a quick look at where we are um, as far as our team statistics go. So uh, team stats, 46, 49. We're 26 and 24 at home. We play well at home. We don't play well on the road. We're 20 and 25 on the road. Versus lefties were 17 and 17. Versus righties were 29 and 32. Um, and in extra inning games were 4 and 7. And in one run games, 12 and 19. And if we look at our primary statistics, you can see Big Frank is leading the team and hitting with a 328 batting average and 37 home runs. He already has 37 home runs. We're only in July, like July 22nd. And he's already got 37 homers and 87 RBI. So he's carrying us. He's putting us on his back and carrying us. Lavalier's doing quite well, hitting 311. Uh, Lance Johnson's hitting 288 with eight home runs uh, and also 25 stolen bases, I might add. Ozzie Guillen's hitting 276. So from there, it's, it starts to really drop off precipitously, and uh, we're not doing that well. Uh, McDowell is five and eight, but he has a 380 earned run average and has allowed fewer hits than innings pitched. Alex Fernandez has a 325 earned run average and is still under 500 again, probably because overall the team is not really that good. I mean, you can see we're only hitting 261 and um, only have 102 home runs in 95 games, and 37 of those are by Thomas. So, and then you get down to some of the other starters down here. Beret has a five earned run average. Dotson has a 649. Um, and uh, Sanderson has a 668. So we are in a little bit of trouble there. Um, so we're going to have to see what we can do about that. But we're going to get on with this game. Uh, you can see, yes, today is July 22nd on the schedule. And we are going to be playing um, Cleveland, and it's going to be Black Jack McDowell for us against Charles Nagy. And um, we will get on with that. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, so you can see um, the computer... Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna be us, and then the computer is going to be Cleveland. And you can see our lineup is Tim Raines in the left, Cora at second, Frank Thomas at first, Newson will be the DH, Jackson in right field, Ventura at third, Lavalier at catcher, Ozzie Guillen at short, and Lance Johnson in center. For him, he's gonna have Kenny Lofton in center. Batting second will be Vesquel, the shortstop. Then Albert Bell, left fielder. Jim Tomei at third base. Elamar, the catcher. Bayerga at second. Sorrento at first. Manny Ramirez in right. And the DH will be Espinoza. And we will um, be... This is, a, this is a key game because we have to... Um, I mean, it's a divisional game, really, is what the problem is. So we're going to get underway here, and it's going to start with a fly ball to Tim Raines. And that'll be one one down. And uh, next up is Joey Cora. And Joey Cora is going to ground out to second. So Nagy, obviously a good good starting pitcher for Cleveland, 
Um, they hit Frank Thomas. Big Frank gets hit by a pitch, but he's a rock on the bases, so you've got to have really big hits that adv- to advance him. We get a walk by Newsom, who walks quite often, and then Darren Jackson comes up, and he is going to ground out to shortstop, and that's going to be that. For the first inning for us, when we go to the bottom of the first, with Black Jack pitching to Kenny Lofton, and he's going to ground out to second base. Cora throws him out. Vizquel is the batter, and he is going to hit a single. So he singles through the uh, hole it's between short and third, and Albert, Big Albert Bell comes up. Vizquel tried, thought about stealing, but decided against it, and then Bell hits a ground ball to shortstop, and can we make the twin killing? We do. And so we're going to the second inning, and uh, Robin High Ventura will lead off against Nagy, and he is going to hit a fly ball out to Lofton in center for the first out of the second inning. Which brings up Lavalier, and Lavalier is going to rip a single. So he rips a single between second and first. And of course, Lavalier, well, I don't know. Lavalier might have been a 94 White Sox. Guillen is up, and Guillen's going to hit a ground ball to third base. Fielder's choice, and he will be the runner at first now, but with two down and Lance Johnson, the batter, and he is going to ground out to second. So we can't get anything going against Nagy. And that brings Black Jack back out, and he's going to pitch to Tomei, who also did play for the White Sox during his illustrious Hall of Fame career. One down, and Alomar is the batter, and he's going to ground the ball out to second. Hopefully Cora can make that play, and uh, he does. And so Bayerga is up, and Carlos Bayerga is going to line out to second base. So Blackjack gets us out of the second unscathed, and we go to the top of the third with Tim Raines. Timmy Raines leading off, and he's going to ground it out to Tomei at third. Not a good fielding third baseman, and Raines is safe. Let's see if we can steal second. We're going to try to do that. And we'll see what the odds come up as. And no, now he's down to 5%, so we are definitely not going to do that. And uh, there's a hit by pitch by Cora, and he's injured, but he's only shaken up. So we've got two runners on, no outs for Big Frank. And Big Frank grounds into a double play. Come on, Frank. So now we've got a runner at third, but two down. Runner 90 feet away, and we need a very big hit here by Newsom. And he is going to fly out to center, and that is Lofton, and Lofton is good in center. I don't think he's going to drop that one. He doesn't. And we stay knotted at zero as uh, Black Jack goes back out, and there's a strikeout of Sorrento, and he is potentially injured and out of the game, but let's see. And uh, yes, he will be out, so they're going to have to replace him. Manny Ramirez comes up, and he's going to ground out. So there is two two down quickly, and there is a pop-out by El- Elvero Espinoza. So we have uh, Darren Jackson up now, and he will get a catcher's card X with no outs here. And he is out. Ventura is up with one down, nobody on. Here in this 0-0 game between the White Sox and the Indians. And that's going to be a pop-out. Pop-out! And Lavalier is going to be out. He will line out to right field. So it stays 0-0. Going to the bottom of the fourth. Kenny Lofton, their leadoff man, is going to hit a double. And he hits a double, goes shopping at the gap, and he will be standing at second with no outs and Vizquel up. Let's see if they bunt him over. And they will try to do that, and we are going to... Um, oh, they're going to try to steal. I'm Yeah, I'll throw for the runner. And he made it. He barely made it. 
And so now they will just let Vizquel bat, and he hits a single and drives in the first run of the game for the Indians. And uh, Albert Bell is up, and oh, well, oh, did we get him? No, probably not. No, we did not. So Vizquel steals second, and then Bell hits a double and knocks in the run. And now all of a sudden, we got McDowell falling apart on us. Jim Tomei is up with a man at second, no outs, and he's going to hit a fly to right. Now, luckily, Jackson is a good fielding right fielder. And he does make the play, but Bell advances to third on the out. We've got a catcher's card. And that is an out. He made the out cleanly with no pass ball or nothing like that. So then Bayerga is the batter, and he will ground out. So McDowell will get out of that inning, only allowing two runs. But with the way we've been hitting Nagy, or not hitting Nagy, it doesn't uh, seem to me like we've got that much of a chance of coming back. But we hit this ball to right. Ramirez is out and right, and he is a poor fielding outfielder. And, ooh, they made the play? How did they make the play? <laughs> My God. And that has to be the serious unluck of the world. Lance Johnson is up, and he's going to hit the ball out to Tomei. Let's see if he can get on. No, he's out, too. Uh, these terrible fielding Indians fielders, and we can't get on. And then we get a double one to eight single, and we can't get the doubles. So Cora comes up. Yeah, the rolls are not going our way. And this is going to be a fly ball to right field. And we don't touch Nagy in the fifth. And we're going to go to the bottom of the fifth. And they're going to bring up Pat Tabler. And he will get a catcher card X. And that's a pop-up that Lavalier plays. Manny Ramirez is up and he strikes out. Tabler was the replacement for the uh, one of the injured... Um, uh, Sorrento, I believe, was injured, and so he was his replacement, and now Elvero Espinoza will be out. So McDowell gets us out of that, but we're going to the sixth. We're still down by two, and Big Frank leading off, and he is going to strike out. So that is going to be one down. Newsom is up, and Newsom is going to fly out to center. And that is two away. And Darren Jackson is the batter, and he is going to strike out. So uh, we're going to go to Kenny Lofton is leading off here in the bottom of the sixth inning with us down 2 nothing, And we are losing to the division, I believe, division-leading Indians here. Vizquel is going to hit a single. He hits a single right up the middle. One down, one man on. Um... We are watching him, so okay, that lowers him to 60%. He may not try it. And then Bell flies out to Reigns and left. So there's two down. McDowell's holding us in this game. You got to give him that. I mean, he is holding us in this. And then a fly ball to right, and again, Darren Jackson. Good fielding right fielder, luckily. And uh, we are still losing 2 nothing. top of the seventh. It's getting late for us. And. Ventura is going to lead off with a single. Of course, we it's a double one to eight single, and we don't get the double. Lavalier is up, and we need him to get on base, and he pops out in his column, no less. He's going to pop out to first base, which will bring up Ozzy Guillen, and he is going to ground out uh, to first base. It's a fielder's choice, so now Guillen is at first, but there will be two down, and Lance Johnson up. And he is going to fly out, or no, ground out to the pitcher. So uh, we are going to the bottom of the seventh, and we are still losing 2 nothing. And Sandy Alomar Jr. is the batter, and he is going to ground out to shortstop. So there's one down. Bayerga is up, and Bayerga is hitting a double. He's just hitting a clean-out double right down the right field line. And uh, Tabler is up. Luckily, Tabler is the replacement for Sorrento, and he's not that great at hitting. He's going to fly out to Jackson. Jackson getting a lot of work today, and they do advance by Eric at a third with Manny Ramirez up. And he's going to hit a home run and probably just put this game out of reach for us. 
as it will now be 4 nothing, And you can see the fireworks as Espinoza steps up and he will strike out. So we're down 4 nothing. We've got to really start to put something together here against Nagy because, or whoever relieves Nagy. They might bring in relief for him, but they're not going to do that. They're going to send him out there for the eighth inning, and Reigns is going to strike out. That brings up Cora. Cora is going to ground to second. Uh, we can't get anything on him. We've only got four hits, and we have no runs to show for the four hits. And a ground ball to second base by Erga is out. And uh, we are going to go to the eighth. I am going to make a pitching change here in the eighth. As you see, the scores roll in. Um, we will go to the visitor bullpen. And we're going to bring in... Uh, we're bringing Dennis Cook and have him relieve. And he'll pitch against Lofton and he walks him. So Lofton gets a walk. He The watch is on, so that's the best that we can hope for. And Vizquel is going to hit a double over uh, Lance Johnson's head. So we just got all kinds of trouble here. And, and it scored the run, so now it's 5 nothing. And then Albert Bell hits um, his first home run of the game, and now he has a homer and a double in the game. And everybody's getting involved for the Indians. Well, nobody is getting involved in helping to score for us. Tome will strike out, though. Sandy Alomar is up, and he will pop out to short. Of course, now the, the, the damage is already done. Um... But the Indians won't have to bat in the ninth, it doesn't look like, because we're losing 7 nothing. And if we can't touch Nagy, they shouldn't relieve him. And they don't. And so Newsom will be up. And he's an on-base guy, good on-base guy, but he's going to strike out here. And then Darren Jackson is up, and he's going to strike out. So Nagy still, he's reaching back, and he's still got some gas in the tank and Ventura is going to also strike out. Nagy will strike out the side in the ninth. And so we do not come close to beating the division-leading Indians. Uh, McDowell goes 70, allows seven hits and four earned runs. He didn't walk anybody. That was a plus. And uh, Cook goes one inning and allows three runs to raise his ERA to 545. Nagy gets the complete game. He goes to 13-2 and two with nine innings pitched, four hits, and only one walk. No earned runs. And that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.